Good morning, uh, Mercy Village Church. I want to talk about uh, two things real quick, and they have to do with uh, leadership, but uh, you're going to be informed by them even if you're not currently aspiring to any sort of leadership. I want to talk about deacons, and I want to talk about our plans for uh, community groups. Um, so um, in particular, if you're uh, aspiring to leadership or just even curious about leadership in either of those areas, but also this will inform you tentatively to what our plan is for community, even if you're not. Okay, deacons first. Um, this past Sunday was supposed to be the deadline um, for people applying for the, our first wave of deacon training. Um, I want, uh, I'm extending that out to this Sunday. Um, I'm going to post the link again below here to a website that you can go to, and it has everything to kind of uh, throw your name in the, in the ring to start deacon training. So you need to go through all the steps listed on that website. Some of you have, um, uh, but I would love to get as many people in on this as possible. Please don't feel pressure. If you can't, I'd rather you throw your name in if you're just even the slightest bit curious about it. Just get your name thrown into the, the mix. And if we have to retrofit the training to be longer or to maybe not start for a few months, then we'll do that. But I would love to know anyone who's interested aspiring to deacon leadership. And if you don't have time this week to, to fill out all of those forms, then please shoot me a message, private message, and tell me you're interested in uh, deacon leadership so that we know who all is aspiring to that so we can start guiding everyone along the process. So please, if you have any interest at all in deacon leadership, and we will take all the deacons we can, all the interest we can. Certainly you're going to have to go through the process and, and uh, we'll put you up against the qualifications, but don't be afraid of that, please. We, we're going to do that with grace and, and joy. It'll be an awesome learning experience for anybody who jumps in, but the more the merrier, uh, the more leaders we have sharing the load of leadership, the more voices we have at the table, uh, the more diversity we have at the table, the better from the earliest uh, days of this church. Because uh, if it's just my brain and Josh Early's brain, it's we're limited. But the more voices we have, girls, guys, um, old, young, as many people. So if you're aspiring at all, okay, I know I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but let me know or go to the link and start filling that stuff out or shoot me a private message. Okay, that's deacons. Um, I cannot overemphasize that. Now, uh, for community groups, we do have a, uh, a tentative plan. What I'm about to show you is a little sketch pad here, and it's going to be kind of pedantic, but in it, if you are at all just curious, so even if you're not considering uh, leadership, but you're just curious about leadership um, at uh, Mercy Village Church, or I mean, curious about community at Mercy Village Church, then this is going to help you um, understand what's coming. Now, I don't know how to turn this camera around. Again, this plan is tentative, very, very tentative, but here's how um, we are currently thinking about running our community groups. And so if you're at all thinking about uh, community group leadership or just curious about being a part of one, this will help you. Third Sunday of August of this year. So this will be the one year uh, potential life cycle of a community group. So on the third Sunday of August, we'll launch into our community groups and they will run through till Thanksgiving. So you have about three months on as a gospel community group at which point we'll Sabbath between Thanksgiving Day and New Year's. There will be no organized uh, community group events. We will have a church-wide Christmas party as a way of um, us getting outside of our groups anyway, mingling with other people in the church. Now, right now, we're small enough that that, that might not seem relevant, but as we grow a little bit larger, uh, these gospel community groups can tend to just be little cliques, and so this these opportunities to Sabbath from community groups and do things at a more corporate level allow us to continue to have that corporate-wide body life. So we'll have this Sabbath between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Then we'll go back on for about four and a half months between New Year's and the 
the second Sunday of May. So that's about four and a half months there between that time. God, uh, community groups are on. Then we'll Sabbath again. This will be a longer Sabbath. We'll take uh, from the second Sunday of May until the third Sunday of August. We'll have a longer Sabbath over the Sunday or over the, the summer. But what we're going to do between May and August, and we're going to actually, this will be the first thing we do as a church plant in 2021, as far as community is concerned, is we're going to do what we're going to call third Wednesdays. Now we may change that to a different Wednesday of the month, but the idea is that on the same Wednesday of every month, uh, we will have some sort of a bonfire or a slip and slide for the kids or a, uh, uh, go out to the park or whatever. We will have an event that is scheduled by the corporate uh, corporately. And again, so the, the idea being we're in our community groups for about eight months a year, and then we're uh, doing more corporate-wide events uh, for four months a year. This also gives a season of rest, a rhythm of rest to our community group leaders. Another thing we want to do to promote rest is to have our groups be led in teams. So we want to have two uh, leadership units per group. So that could be one single person and one couple or two couples. Of course, we would like to have um, some, you know, and again, uh, uh, two units. So it could be two singles, two couples, a single and a couple, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, I'm being overly pedantic there, but but two leadership units. And then you guys will share the load, those two units work. So you can split that up going two months on, two months off, two months on, two months off, trading the leadership back and forth between each other so nobody gets burned out. Or you could go one month, one month, or you could go four months and then four months, however you choose to divvy it up. But the leadership, you'll split up those eight months of gospel community leadership with another leadership unit. Um, and then another thing I'm excited about, and we'll see how it works because everything looks great on paper, even if I draw it. But um, you see here maybe two gospel community groups, and within them they have these you know, two leadership units in each one. But maybe a new leadership unit grows up in this group, and a new leadership unit grows up in this group. And those two are just desiring to see a new group formed. They now pair up, right? And maybe two or three people from this group go up here, and two or three people from this group go up here, and now all of a sudden you have a new group that is formed, while at the same time the vast majority of these groups stay in existence. I think one of the things... Uh, you know, trying to walk that line between multiplication that uh, splits groups apart and just steals the community or just holding up in groups that never multiply. Neither one of those are good things. We don't want to always be splitting groups and then everybody just never gets to function in a, a you know, kind of a long-term community but we don't want to stifle multiplication either. So, okay, uh, that's a lot. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to listen, but the final uh, the final call would be this: If you, again, I'm talking even the small. If you just want to ask a couple questions, or like you're not committing to anything, just reach out to to me or to uh, Pastor Josh Early and say D I'm interested in deacon leadership. I just want more information. I want I want to to see what it, uh, what it's all about, or uh, community group leadership. Please let us know ASAP. Again, we're going to be doing third Wednesdays all through the through May, June, July, and August. But in August, we'd like to launch at least two, maybe three uh, community groups. And so, and, I, and I'm kind of, I know Josh Early and I have talked about this. Him and I may, uh, uh, well, him and Faith and Sarah Beth and myself may um, throw our name in the hat to do leadership, but we'll need uh, another uh, couple or a another leadership unit, uh, uh, whether they're single or a couple, to lead alongside us. And so um, let us know ASAP, especially about deaconship, before the end of the week, if you have any interest in being uh, in the, at least learning about the deacon training process. Even if you don't, even if you think it's going to be two years from now by the time you're ready to do it, please let me know. And the same with community group leadership. So, all right.
Love you guys. Thanks for sticking with this video and uh, just excited to see what God's going to do um, as he grows up leaders at Mercy Village Church and grows our community at Mercy Village Church. You guys have a great day.